guys and gals, it is Mickey the Money Shaver here. Um, today I am going to be doing a um, shave review of English Leather, which I was not aware of when I bought it. It is a canned shaving foam. Um, but when I got it yesterday, I put some on my fingers and it felt pretty slick, so let's give it a try and see how it works. Um, before I do that though, uh, I believe this was two or three dollars off eBay, maybe even less. Um, it smells, I like the smell, my wife does not. Um, it smells, she says it smells a little like peppers, and I think it smells like leather mixed with something spicy. Not necessarily peppers, but maybe something like clove or something. Um, as far as ingredients, we have water, stearic acid, glycerin, triphenylamine, some unpronounceable ones, mineral oil, myristic acid, propane, fragrance, cetyl alcohol, lanolin oil, methylparaben, propyl paraben, so some uh, some stuff that you see in other soaps, some stuff you don't. Um, so anyways, uh, I did read on a YouTube video that back when they first came out with, um, canned shaving foam, people were still using brushes and the way to do it is to shake it up and then put it on with your brush. I tried that, um, before I started the video and it completely got rid of anything. Um, it was pretty slick still, but I don't know that I'd want to shave with it. So, um... Anyways, uh, English leather. I do, by the way, don't think they make this anymore. I read somewhere that they don't make it anymore, but I believe they do have a, um, aftershave still. So that is a thing, I believe. So let's shake it up. The only thing that sucks is if this does work as well as I hope it does, um, it's a very small bottle, so, got a new mirror today so I can actually see what I'm doing. Going on, it feels just like any other cream. Um, the other thing is I'll have to remember, ooh, it tingles a little, <laughs> I'll have to remember too that, um, if I want to do more than one pass, this is going to go really quick. So I'll just rinse off in the water. Oop, dripping some water. Good enough. All right, so, and I do have a big missing spot here because I still do have that cut. Um, so I've got a fresh Astro Blade. And let's see. It actually doesn't feel that bad. And it's left behind some pretty slick residue. Um, and see, I'll show you if I mix it with water it disappears pretty quickly but it does leave behind a slick residue but um it doesn't really pull or anything like that which i'm surprised because i expected with canned shaving cream for it to like pull and on um, first pass wise i'm actually getting a pretty pretty good shave It is kind of weird because you know how sometimes with the razor you can like feel the shaving cream kind of thing? Um, you can't, it doesn't feel like, it feels like I'm dry shaving, but not like, like my head doesn't feel like I'm dry shaving, but the way the razor feels, does that make sense? I don't know that that makes sense. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta... Yeah, 
Sorry about that. Um, so, whew, it's very strong smelling. Um, so, wow, the first pass actually got really close. So that's actually not a bad shave at all. I wonder if I can take some of the... And it doesn't dissipate very quickly, because the stuff I put on the side of my head... I could actually, honestly, probably use a little less than I did because of how slick it is. Look how good that rubs in, and that's like nothing there. So let's use a little less this time. Just a little less. Can't get my mirror, huh? Ah. I tell you what, I think this is performing a lot better than other, I would expect other can shaving creams to perform. <laughs> That's a funny noise. Um, what? I'm not dumb. Don't call me dumb. I'll fight you. That was my wife. Did you threaten to abuse me on camera? Uh, no, I threatened to fight you. That's different. Ugh. Take my ring off because it's getting all messy. Hear that? I took my ring off. Yeah, I heard that. I can be out of here in minutes. Ten minutes? That's a bit long. I gotta say, you guys, I'm a little disappointed purely because this is working so well, and at this point in time, I really want to keep it in my my uh, my lineup of shaving creams. What do people call it? The rotation. I want to keep it in my rotation, but it's so small. I guess I'll have to see. I mean, it still feels pretty full, and I've already done two passes, and I probably, honestly, don't need a third one maybe a little touch-up but um that's the other thing with the touch-up you don't even need to you can just get it wet and it's slick enough to just do a touch-up like that um i might have to buy a few more cans of this on uh, ebay because so far i love it um I'm actually growing used to the smell now, so that's not too bad. Um, the smell is a little much to get used to at first, but once you- oh, that's the big side of the mirror. That's the zoom in on you mirror. Um, once you get used to the smell, um, well, I mean, at least me, once I get used to the smell, I actually quite like it. So. Do some on my side right here. And I mean, if you don't go crazy with it, you know? If you don't like go wild with it, you're not using that much. I mean, look how much left over. I could really stand to use a lot less. And look, I can even use it to do a third pass if I wanted to, which I might, just a quick touch up pass. And my head, my head feels actually really good i'm surprised it um feels super protected not really any irritation um i'm i know i've said it like a million times in this video but i'm really surprised pleasantly slow pleasant pleasantly slow pleasantly so Yeah, it's still working pretty good on my sides, too. And if I get my fingers wet and rub right where I had it, it's still really, really slick. So I can just get my fingers a little wet, rub that, and do a touch-up. Wow. I am, um, actually, wow. Just wow. I can't believe how well it's working. 
Um, you hear a lot of bad things about canned shaving cream in the wet shaving community. And I think some of it is earned because, you know, I've used Barbasol not since I started with a DE, but I've used Barbasol in the past with like a cartridge razor. And it's not the best. Some people love it, swear by it. They still use it even though they're using a DE. But, um, I, uh, uh, never been really a fan of Barbasol. I'll use it if I have to, but I'd much rather use something thing. Well, like this. Yeah, so that's like, now I can just use what's on my hand between that and getting it wet with water. Get a nice touch up pass. Honestly, I don't even need much of a touch up at all. So, well guys, uh, wow. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, it feels good. My head, skin, my scalp feels really smooth. Um, I, there's not really a lot of spots I missed. Getting it all right. Um, it, my skin still feels healthy, hydrated. I don't feel like it's dried out at all. Which sometimes Barbasol makes me feel a little dried out afterwards. But this, um... This doesn't, and I mean, even doing this again with some water, it's still pretty slick. So, but, um, yeah, if I wipe it off with a towel, wipe it off with a towel, it, it's back to normal. It's not as slick. So it does come off easily, but you do have to mean to get it off. If you're just... If you're one of those people who just after you're done, um, it might not, you might still get some slickness if it gets wet, so don't go out in the rain. Um, but yeah, um, I think the only downside to this right now is, um, the smell. I really think some people will not like the smell and I can totally understand that because it's a strong smell. You can smell it from there. My wife is in the other room, in the bedroom, and she can uh, smell it from there. So, like I said, it is a strong smell. Missed a spot. But, um, I like it. You know, it grew on me quickly. So, I mean, I guess it depends, really. Um, everyone I've heard talking about, I don't know if it's the same scent as their um, aftershave or their cologne or whatever it is. But everyone I hear talking about English leather says they love it. So, um, I can't remember exactly how much I spent on this on eBay, but it was probably around $3, if not less. Uh, I would definitely give it a size, a size, sorry, I read tra travel size. <laughs> I would definitely give it a try. And as I was just going to say, it is a nice little travel size. So, I mean, if you wanna keep this in your day-to-day -day rotation, you might be going through them pretty quick. Uh, or if you wanna keep it in your toiletry bag, great for that too. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I wanna use it more often than when I travel because I don't travel that much. So I might just keep it in my day-to-day uh, -day rotation and, uh, so yeah, English leather, this is what it looks like. It's got the the thingy there. That's what you look for. If it's that, it's English leather. So uh, yeah, guys, um, that's what I got to say about English leather and give it a try yourself because this one is a good one. All right, peace.